Okay, I think I'm procrastinating today and I've decided to do another problem here. Lexic, again, not a complicated one, but something most people can accomplish with a little bit of common sense. Um, lexicographic combination permutations. Um, so it's basically a permutation of digits. Uh, so 0, 1, 2 listed numerically. So 12, 21, 102, 120. So basically they're saying it has to just go up in, um, in ascending order. And they want you to do for 0 through 9 and what the millionth one is. So basically, I don't know, if you're using another language, maybe you don't have a permutations uh, function. You could write that, I guess, but so basically in Python, I'm in Python 3.6, permutations of a string will just simply return uh, the, the number of permutations. So I think permutations, it's like, uh, was it n factorial? So one, two, three, four, five, six. If we had four, what's four factorial? Four factorial is um, four times three times two which is 24. So what happens is, as you get to, you know, higher, yeah, 24. So basically, if you keep adding things like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 720. When you add 6, it gets bigger. And 7, it gets even bigger. 8, 3, 62. When we get to 9, we're going to cross the million threshold. Now, it, you know, it's only 3.6 million large, um, so it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to call that vowels. And why am I calling list on permutations is because out of the box, it, it's a generator expression. And um, list forces it to yield in, into an object in memory, something like that. Let's just take a, take a look at some of them. So, you know, they're all just different variations of zero through nine. And um, so what we're gonna wanna do to each one is we need to sort it numerically, right? So we need to, we need to get each one. Let's just do this, let's just experiment on one row. So what is that? That's a tuple. So what if I just wanna join it? want to join all these values okay so I could do that and then I can say okay so let's just say um, I'll call vowels on it again I'll just keep reusing the name equals that uh, join X X in vowels and let's look at you know the first 10 vowels there. Okay. So now we really want to convert the string to an integer. So I'll just say vowels equals map. How does map work again? We know map uh, func to iterables, func, func goes first. So we're gonna map imp to vowels. And I forgot my comma. And map, I think, will return, this is probably gonna return an error. It's gonna say like generator or map object is not subscriptable. So you gotta, again, a map will return sort of a, uh, like an object that's not instantiated yet. <clears throat> so let's just check on the length of our vowels. Still got 3.62 million. And um, yeah, so we need to sort them from low to high. Uh, sorted, sorted iterable key equals none returns a new list containing all items. So yeah, I'll just say final equals sorted 
vals. I'll just take a look at the you know the first ten again, and I'm rerunning all this logic over and over again. Uh, what am I on here? I'm on a Mac i5, 3.2 gigahertz, good chunk of RAM. So I don't know, maybe you don't want to do that over and over again. Probably doesn't matter. So now we want to get the value that's at the million. What do I want? The million lexicographic permutation. So I just want the you know final at one million. I just use the commas to make sure I got the right number of zeros. And then, uh, then that'll be it. So yeah, that'll be. Uh, see if that's right. I haven't even looked at it yet. Uh, what's my answer? Man, this guy just likes to write complex code. What the hell is that, dude? That's your answer. Two seven eight whatever. 27839. Yeah, cool. We got the answer there. Um, oddly enough, <laughs> you know, I mean, just look at the power of Python. Right? Let's uh, return. I mean, look, look how elegant that is. That's problem 24. Well, how much code is, is being written to do this? Now, you know, in all fairness, he's, he's writing it in the context of generating the permutations. So, you know, he's iterating over the maximum number of permutations. He's only going up to a million swapping values yeah, so that's cool. But, you know, in any event, I'm more of a business type programmer. So this is much more appealing to me and much more understandable. So hopefully you got some fun out of that. If you're just learning Python, maybe you learned a little bit about the permutations module, list comprehensions, uh, the map function, sorted, and uh, list indices. So, yeah, cool.